Good morning children and welcome to the online classes. This is my very first video for class 6 and in this chapter I am going to teach you about locating places on the earth. Yes, dear students, the third chapter of geography is locating places on the earth. In the previous chapter I have taught you about globe, maps and different types of maps. What is the advantage of a globe and what are the advantage of maps now locating places on earth here again we will need globe to understand and uh, and if you don't have a globe at home I'll make you understand with an example so let's begin the content of this chapter are about latitude longitude the grid time zone and so on. We will read about latitude in this module. So I told you that I will make you understand with the help of a ball. What is this? Ball, ball, a normal basketball. If you are not having a basketball, you must be having a small ball at home. Even if not, you are having a small ball. These days, Oranges are always available at home because WHO has said to eat oranges to fight Corona. Okay, apart from it. So, let us consider that this is Earth rotating in a hand. And what we are going to read? We are going to read about parallels of, sorry, we are going to read about parallels of latitude. What are parallels of latitude? Parallels of latitude are the imaginary lines drawn around the earth. Now who has drawn it? These are not actually drawn. These are the imaginary lines that have been assumed. Parallels of latitude. And why they are called parallel? Because they are parallel to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay dear students? The main parallel of latitude is equator that divides the whole earth into two parts. Northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Don't pronounce northern and southern. That is the wrong pronunciation. It is always northern and southern. And the topmost tip of the northern hemisphere is known as North Pole, whereas the topmost tip of the southern hemisphere is known as South Pole. Amidst passes the equator and rest parallel of parallels of latitude. Okay, so take a ball. If you are not having a ball, take the oranges and uh, then start drawing. See. I will make you understand on this orange. You know one thing that our earth actually looks like an orange. I have got a small orange at home right now. So just draw a line. Okay, 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 okay. So this we have drawn a line. Assuming that this is equated that is passing through zero degree that is passing through something let us see a video to understand latitude and longitude more clearly see you to the video i am so excited about this trip to paris <laughs> yes, we will visit many places and have lots of fun. We will be landing in Paris in about 30 minutes. Paris lies in coordinates 48.8 degree north and 23.3 degree east. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. Then why did the aerostat say it lies in coordinates? Is she confused? Shall I go and correct her? As far as I know, Paris is in France. <laughs> no, my dear. 
You both are right about the location of Paris. Now I am confused. I will clear the confusion. I am listening. That Paris lies in France is a very general location of Paris. Okay, it lies on the banks of the River Seine. That's also not very exact. Hmm? To tell the exact location of Paris, we need latitude and longitudes. Latitudes and longitudes. Let me see. Let's say this orange represents the earth. If I draw these lines horizontally on the skin of the orange with a marker dividing it into horizontal slices, these lines will be called parallel of latitudes. Okay, so these are the parallels of latitude. Now, if I peel this orange, you will see these lines along the slices. Yes. These are meridians of longitudes. I want to know more about the parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. Okay, at first we will talk about latitudes. Lines of latitude, also known as parallels, circle the earth from east to west. These lines are same distance apart about 69 miles. This 69 miles is 1 degree. Each degree is further divided into smaller lines. There are 60 minutes in one degree and 60 seconds in one minute. The equator lies in the zero degree halfway between the north and south pole. There are several other significant lines of latitude. The Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle to the north of the equator and Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle to the south of the equator. You are absolutely right. And do you know at what degree they lie? No. Tropic of Cancer is 23 and a half degree north of equator and Arctic Circle is 66 and a half degree north of the equator. Tropic of Capricorn is 23 and a half degree south of equator and Antarctic Circle is 66 and a half degree south of equator. You are a fast learner. I will tell you an interesting fact. Wow! The regions of Earth in between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn are called tropics and are known for hot temperatures and dense forest. So now I know where to go if I want to live in a forest. And the region of Earth between the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the north is known for four seasons, winter, summer, autumn and spring. Let me complete. The region of Earth between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the South. Understand more about PUL, that is Pattern of Latitudes, that you can see in this image very nicely. They are also called lines of latitude that you have seen in the video. This is another image of the equator that is passing through the center, dividing the Earth into two parts, into Northern and Southern Hemisphere. And these are the important lines of latitude. You have seen the video. Let me make you more understand it more nicely. Let me draw it on the board and then I'll make you understand about the important parallels of latitude. And on your ball. Now see here. Suppose this is this, uh, the earth. This is North Pole and this is South Pole. The equator passes through the center and rest all the panels of latitude are parallel to it. An important one are the Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. This equator is at 0 degree. Okay, then we move towards Tropic of Capricorn. This is at 23 and a half degree south. 
when we move to a topic of cancer it is 23 and a half degree north okay then again we are moving towards antarctic circle this is at 66 and a half degree south and arctic circle this is again 66 and a half degree north and north pole and south pole they are at 90 degrees dear students parallels of latitude are the angular distance of a place on the earth from equator towards north or towards south whenever we are saying the important parallels of latitude it should be there with the direction south or north because they are at the equal distance you can see from 0 to 23 and a half degree and again from 0 to 23 and a half degree tropic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north and tropic of capricorn is 23 and a half degree south dear students when i will be teaching you longitude when these lines will come across then they will form a grid that i will be teaching you in the next module okay but that you have understood parallels of latitude nicely and you have also come to know about the all the important parallels of latitude and amidas these parallels of latitude important parallels of latitude lies the heat zone in the next module we'll be discussing about the heat zone the torrid temperate and the frigid zone and then we'll discuss about longitude till then bye and take care thank you